Hi guys, today I'm introducing a little dog called Juicy. Juicy presented at the center with a problem called luxating patellas, a condition in which the kneecap wants to slip out of the groove at the front of the knee. The vets wanted to perform surgery to stabilize the kneecap, but Juicy's owner was keen to pursue other forms of management for the condition. In this video, we look at some of the exercises that we designed to help increase Juicy's leg strength and help stabilize the kneecap in its correct position. Ultimately, having stronger muscles will mean less irritation and inflammation in Juicy's knee. Many of the dogs I see at the center who present with the luxating patellas develop a skipping or hopping action as a result of the mechanical issue they have with their knees. This exercise helps them break that bad habit and maintain a healthy range of movement at their knee and hip joints, along with good muscle control to support healthy movement. Lure your dog slowly over your legs and watch their rear end closely. We want to encourage and praise them for a nice single leg step over. Do not reward them if they hop. Aim to keep your lure moving at the level of your dog's nose at a slow but steady speed to encourage the correct type of movement. This is a great exercise for building rear limb strength and control. Firstly, we want to ensure our dog can perform a tight sit. This means that their knees are close to their body and rear toes are pointing forwards with both hind legs in line with each other and evenly flexed under the body. My preferred setup is on a low, stable platform, which will ensure that the dog stays in one place as you build up your reps and sets of this exercise. Please add a non-slip mat as you can see in this video that Juicy is slipping a little on our aerobic step. Ask for a tight sit and ensure the rear legs are tucked evenly under the body with the toes of the hind paws pointing forwards. Lure your dog to place their front paws on a raised target. Ideally, we want the rear paws to stay in place as the dog engages their hind leg muscles to push up into a stand. Then we ask for a slow and controlled sit, ideally without any repositioning of the rear paws. Start with three repetitions and aim for three sets with the main focus on form and technique rather than number of reps. This is a tricky exercise for both dogs and humans to learn, but it's a really effective one, especially for dogs with luxating patellas. Nevertheless, it takes time and practice to recruit the correct muscles and build up adequate strength to help stabilize the patella. The aim is to get your dog stepping sideways, keeping their body in a straight line and lifting each leg off the ground as they step to the side. Many of the dogs I see with knee problems find it difficult to take good steps and prefer to shuffle their feet or some cross their legs over. Many curve their back to avoid using the correct leg muscles, so you can use your hand as shown in this video to help facilitate a straight spine. If the dog is moving to the left, we want them to move their left leg first and then the right leg. Then the left leg moves again. This is a great way to strengthen the abductor muscles of the leading leg and therefore it is a very important exercise for dogs with luxating patellas. Optimizing lateral thigh muscle strength is imperative in helping keep the kneecap in the correct position. We are aiming for slow and controlled movements with this exercise. Pick a short distance, such as the length of this platform, and aim for good movement in both directions. If you have an issue on one leg only, aim for a couple of more reps on that side to improve your dog's strength. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if you wish to see some more.